You want some? No? It's pretty good. Very juicy. It's a little bit too much for me to finish. Sweater Lord, you want some? Oh yeah, that's true. I didn't even think about that. Sorry. My bad. Oh, don't be so sentimental. Shall we get started? <laughs> Let's do Korra. Earth. Earth. Fire. Oh, fire. I already f***ed up. Water. Air. Air. Whatever. Yeah. Chapter 10. Turning the tides. <laughs> That's so creepy. She's just lurking in the doorway. How to do a love triangle in one frame. And where's Tarlok? Amon captured him and took his bending. What? Yeah, that's what I said. Amon is becoming emboldened. Yeah, and part of that is Tarlok's fault, doubling down on the capturing of the Equalists. Korra needs more tea. That look on his face. Boil it yourself. Oof. I'm gonna step out in case you two want to talk. Good move, Pema. Good move. The kiss, Mako. I... Well, I'm bowling Busted. You Don't blame your brother for what you did. <laughs> yeah. Can we deal with our relationship problems later? Well, there might not be any relationship to worry about later. Asami. For the most part, I'm on Asami's side here. She's been very giving. She's been nothing but cool. She's supporting Mako's dreams. She was really cool and nice to Korra, even though a lot of girlfriends wouldn't want their boyfriends to have female friends. Mako, on the other hand, is all over the place. He's doing that classic thing where he has something wonderful in front of him, but he doesn't want to limit his options, right? Like he wants to have the whole world. Unfortunately, this is a stage of life I see people getting stuck on for a really long time. They get stuck constantly in this cycle of seeking external validation. But the problem is that's a never ending cycle because you can never be convinced from one individual or several individuals being attracted to you if you don't actually believe that you're someone of value. It's like an internal checkbox you need to you need to hit at some point in your life where you just feel worthy enough to have what you want in that way. Being a decent person and responsibility and commitment and affection and like real honor, you know, these are things that only come once you have the self-confidence that you know you have value in that way and that you'd be fine with or without other people liking you. It's really difficult. It's one of the biggest potential pitfalls for life. And I think until Mako sorts that out, there's no way he's gonna be a good boyfriend to anybody. It doesn't matter if it's Asami or Korra or whoever else. I know it could be a, a potentially awkward situation. Furthermore, I spit it out already. Are we gonna do another love triangle? Watch over Pema and the children while I meet with the council. Oh no! I want to be sure my family is in safe hands. Of course I'll help. I didn't realize you two were out here. Oh no! Another no! Don't do this. Yes, Lynn has agreed to help out around here and keep an eye on things while I'm away. <laughs> Would you mind giving him a bath? He's filthy. <laughs> this is not what I signed on for. Well, that was awkward. The door, dear. Uh oh. Knock, knock. It's a mon. Oh, nice. His mustache radar. Nice. Wind style. For the wind. <laughs> yes. Awesome. The leadership of Republic City is in your hands now. Wow. Could do a lot worse than Tenzin, though. One reason I trust Tenzin instantly is because he seems like a reluctant leader, which in many cases is like a sign that they're not self-interested, that they'll hopefully lead carefully. The time has come for the Equalists to claim Republic City. By bombing it. How are they sure they're not hitting non-benders? Did they send out a flyer first? But how are we gonna pay for all these parking tickets? <gasps> the police have more important things to worry about. That's the old government. One more reason to root for Aman. Why don't you sit in back? With Korra. I think I will. Korra's just collateral damage in this. Everything all right? Yeah. Everything's fine. Everything's just terrific. fine. I need to send a wire. The general of the United Forces. This is somebody we know. This was very Check well planned. <laughs> we need to evacuate immediately. You can airbend it. Ah, there you go. Good job. Not these mecha tanks again. <laughs> wow, that's actually pretty clever. Magnet bending. Wow, this was really well done. <laughs> she's driving angry too. Asami's just pissed off. Oh man. Yeah, she's not having it. She just got out all her aggression from Mako. Wow. We will capture them before long. And you will have your daughter back. But she'll never love you. Look. Oh no. They're in good hands at least. I believe in Lin Beifong. You guys picked the wrong island. Hope you brought a lot of magnets. Everyone, hide inside and remain calm. I bet the kids are gonna fight, right? Didn't I just say remain calm? Mommy? Oh no. What's wrong? 
The baby's coming! Of course it is. The children, where are they? Don't worry, they're in the other room, totally safe. They're not in the other room, are they? Stay away from my dad's ex-girlfriend! I knew it! Oh, wow. Aang's grandkids. Get off our island! <laughs> uh, it's kind of silly, but I also love it. Alright, I could have done without that. Be careful! <laughs> you just fart bend? Never mind. <laughs> Kids, am I right? Emma! So much is happening. I'm here, Emma. Our new son. Is he a bender? That's the question. Hello. Rohan. Rohan. You and your family are the last airbenders. There's no way in the world I'm letting Amon take your bending away. That's a good point. I forgot about that. Last time I asked you guys what your thoughts were on why it's so painful to see people lose their bending. And you guys basically nailed it, I think. Some of the analogies I saw were like a piano player losing the function of his fingers, like things like that. It's not only something you identify with and derive great joy from, it also represents years of practice. And so it's sad to lose that. Something else I was thinking about in relation to this, and I apologize because this is a very abstract idea, is that there is value in what is, but there's also value in what could be. And we all have an innate sense for that. I think in a way, the universe, just being itself, values potential. We can maybe think of existence as like an ongoing process to discover new things. That's what evolution is, an adaptation, right? It's like, in a way, nature is its own force that is looking for something. It's not exactly that it has a goal, it's just that there is a process, and the process seems to be one of discovery and experimentation. And so, in a natural sense, potential has value, because potential is newness, novelty, innovation, greatness. But bringing that down to a more human level, we have a sense for this as well, because we we often talk about people based not on who they are, but on what we think they could be. If there are people who we think really highly of, we feel disappointed when they don't live up to that, when they don't match our expectations. And I think it's because we can sense that there's a loss there. There's a loss to not meet potential. And it's even more painful when we see people acting out to harm other people who have potential or to take away their potential, especially for reasons that are destructive or based on hate or anger or any of these negative emotions. It's almost like it's its own kind of evil to run counter to the universe, right? To kill potential for, for for greatness. I want you to leave this island and hide for the time being. With the reinforcements, we can turn the tide in this war. We need to be patient. You're learning well. Yeah, that is true. It's really hard to fight Amon in this because the people that have the best chance of fighting him are so essential to the world. The world needs Tenzin as one of the last airbenders. We need Korra as the Avatar. It doesn't leave a lot of really powerful people except for Lin, I guess. It's all in your hands, Lin Beifong. There's so much music in this episode. Damn it. What's this guy? Oh! Suck it. <laughs> Hate this guy. Finally. Nice one, Daga. Too much music. <laughs> What's happening? Whatever happens to me. Don't turn back! Oh no, what is she doing? No, I was just joking! You don't actually have to do it! That's pretty badass though. Oh, damn. No! Damn, so close. She better not get her bending taken away, I'll be so pissed. Damn, she saved them though. She saved that him. lady is my hero. Yeah. Yes, she is. Milo continues to have good taste. Tell me where the Avatar is, and I'll let you keep your bending. I won't tell you anything, you monster. So I was a little bit skeptical of Amon when he had Korra in his hands and didn't take her bending away. It actually makes a little bit more sense now in light of what just happened because this would be a more opportune time, right? Because now he has control of the city and he got there by allowing the government to push against him and give credibility to his cause while being patient and silently plotting. At this point, it wouldn't matter if people were opposed to him taking away Korra's powers because there's nobody, there's no infrastructure left by vendors to attack him, at least in the city. Please don't take her bending away. Please don't take her bending away. DSX Machina. DSX Machina. No! I hate him on now. I'm pissed for Lynn. I'm pissed for Toph. At least it was for a worthy cause. At least she did it heroically. She did this to save the airbender race. It could have been worse, I guess. At least it was noble. But it's so sad. And she has no kids. Ah. Oh. 
I'm looking for something to take solace in. The only thing I can find is the top head of school. I just have to think of metal bending as her legacy to the world instead of her lineage. Wipe that smile off your face. This is a sad moment. Thank you. I'm glad someone gets it at least. If I ever catch you disrespecting the Beifongs ever again, I'm gonna take a bite out of your face. General, Who I is just it? received a wire from the Avatar. Is it Zuko or Zuko's kid? How do you want to respond? That's Zuko's kid. Tell her we will be arriving in three days' time, and that I look forward to winning back Republic City. That's his voice too. Wow. Together. As you wish. Hell General yeah. Iro. Wait, what? As you wish, General Iro. Nice. So that must be Zuko's son. Awesome, I love it. Uh, that was weird. I hit like my rock bottom point being sad about Lin losing her powers and then like a high point seeing Zuko's son who's named Iroh. It must be Zuko's grandson actually, right? Because he looks young. Iroh. Sorry about what I said earlier, but what I said still stands. I will bite your face off. All right, that is gonna do it for this episode. <laughs> what am I doing? What is going on? <laughs>